So last week, uh, we have been introduced to combinational circuit design, where we have looked at uh, multiplexer, decoder, and encoders. So today we will continue with the uh, arithmetic circuit. Start with uh, adder, subtractor, and uh, sign number. Comparator, multiplier, and hopefully we can finish uh, until arithmetic logic unit. So uh, last week we have learned uh, what is the uh, multiplexer and how to design it and how to describe or model it in uh, Verilog. This is 2 to uh, 1 multiplexer, and this is 4 to 1 multiplexer, and this is the very lock code. Uh, 4 to 1 multiplexer using a 3 2 to 1 multiplexer. Decoders, we also have learned decoders, and uh, we also look at how we code the decoder in very lock in Verilog and uh, I have demonstrated to you uh, how to use quarters yeah, to write the Verilog code and to write the touch band and to uh, simulate the design yeah, to verify the design in uh, model sim so we have uh, many variation of uh, decoders De this is encoder and today we will look at uh, the adder right so uh, the adder is the yes the most common arithmetic unit uh, that is used to perform operation of adding two binary numbers so uh, this is a very good very are very important uh, digital circuit where we can use a hardware a digital circuit uh, to perform the calculation to calculate yeah so uh, and this is the the fundamental of uh, of the today's uh, computer right where we start with uh, the simple arithmetic circuit like an adder where we can actually uh, use the hardware the circuit to perform calculation which is a quite amazing thing right because uh, before this uh, we don't have anything that can perform calculation uh, uh, I mean the the non-living thing, yeah, the hardware. We human, we can of course we can uh, easily perform calculation. We can do calculation, right? But think about a piece of hardware. Yeah, how to create the uh, the circuit that can perform calculation, that that can do calculation, right? So. This is the basic one, the adder, and it's come from the uh, uh, the concept of adding, right? And 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 it's it is possible because because of binary number, because of digital, okay. So, for example, to add a number in binary, it is very easy. We have only zero and one, right, in binary system. So, to add a number, if we have x and y, uh, and uh, x and y are binary number, okay. So we can plus, we can add, and the result is called a sum, and we have another bit called a carry, right? Just like in uh, a normal addition in in decimal, where we have the product, the sum, yeah, the the sum of the number and we also have the carry right same as so the 
addition in binary is the same and we have learned this a lot yeah, since our school day right where we have uh, where we have learned how to add number in binary format in in base 2 format right so this is how it it it, it works right if 0 0 we have 0 the result is 0 and we have 0 carry 0 plus 1 we have 1 0 carry this is the same 1 plus 0 1 plus 1, of course, the product is 0, and we have 1 carry, right? We can see that 0 plus 0, yes, we have 0. 0 plus 1, we have 1. 1 plus 0, we have 1. And 1 plus 1, we have 2. 1, 0 is 2 in uh, in, 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 in decimal. Okay, so that, this is the uh, basic concept. And we can create the circuit based on this behavior, actually, right? Where we can create the truth table here, where we have two outputs, carry and sum, C and S, right? So if 0, 0, yeah, just like this, we have the output like this. And if we look at this, this is clearly an, an AND gate, the carry. So we have an AND gate here. And this is clearly, this is an. XOR gate. So this is the XOR gate. Then we have the, the adder that can add one bit number. Yeah, this is one bit number. And this is called half adder. HA, half adder. Right? And because this half adder is not very useful, because it can only add a one bit number. Right. If we have two bit, we cannot use it. So that is why we call it half adder. How if we want to add multiple bit number, right? More than one bit, zero, uh, two bit, three bit, four bit, and so on. So uh, yeah, by hand calculation, we can do just like this, right? Where if you have x and this x is uh, five bit, five bit y is 5 bit all right y x0 x4 y0 y4 and s the output is 5 5 bit also and let's for example if we have x is this 50 and uh, y 10 and we add so when we add 1 plus 0 we have 1 and we have 0 carry 1 plus 1 is 0, we have 1 carry, and we need to add to this. So this is looks, uh, this looks something like this. If we uh, label this as uh, C, and this is X, all right, C, so this can be ci, this is xi, where i can be yeah, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, yi, si. And this is ci plus 1, yes. Of course, right, because if this is 0, so this should be i, uh, c, this is c0, this should be c, c1, right, and so on. And... This can be represented in the truth table like this, where we have ci, xi, yi, right? We add together this, this three bit, and we have the sum here, si, and this is carry. ci plus one is the carry. Okay, so this is a one bit add. And we can create the, the output just like this. 0 plus 0 plus 0, we have 0, 0. 0 plus 0 plus 1, we have 1 and 0 carry. 0 plus 1 plus 0, again, we have 1, 0, 0 carry. And so on until we have uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1, we have 1 sum and 1 carry. Right? So this is the truth table. And from this truth table, we can have the K map 
and we can derive the logic equation or Boolean equation here, right, where si equal to xi, x or yi, x or ci, and ci plus 1 or carry is this. So from that, we can create the, the circuit and we can have the what we call the full adder. Why full adder? Because we can add multiple bit using this method. All right, where we can connect like this, where you can see here, if this is y0, x0, y0, we have s0, yeah, we have c0 here. And this is the carry. Yes, the carry is used to for, for the input, for the next, for the next bit, yeah, just like just like this. Yeah, the input for the next bit. Like this, and we have S1 and we have C2, and we can have many more bits. Yeah, depend on the size of our adder. So from that, we can create the circuit that can add numbers, right? So this is a hierarchical design of a 4-bit adder. Why 4-bit? Because we have four full adder here, right? One is one bit. If we connect cascaded like, like this, we can have a 4-bit adder where it can add 4-bit number. And uh, to write the Verilog code to model this full adder is easy because we have the equation, right? We have the equation here. And if we have the equation, we can use the data flow modeling, use the assigned keyword and straight away write the equation. So this is data flow modeling, remember? Yeah, exactly the equation and we can get this full adder and how to connect like this using hierarchical design methodology and we have learned last week how to use this one and build this one right this is how so we have a new module called fa4 yeah this is fa and we have four bit x and y this is four bit and we have one bit ci this one yeah and you uh, observe this yeah the name of the label here the name of the variable that we use here should be exactly the same with this one right such that we can easily derive the uh, the, the very log code later on and we have s 4 bit also here s and we have co all right the carry for the last bit and we have wire c uh, how many bit three bits yeah bit three to bit one means that this one three two one okay so that is c and remember we want to instantiate or import this into this so we have fa call the module name and name the first module to be at zero so this module is named as at zero because look at the connection x zero and here again we use positional port connection right remember you have two method one is the uh, uh, port connection and one is the uh, positional port connection right so this is x zero x zero so why we have x0 first? Because here, look, FA module, we have x first, x first. So it must be x0 first, followed by y. So y here is y0. And uh, CI for this one is also the CI. So it should be CI here. And we have this one is CO for this module. And it is actually C1 for this, for this. And we have the output S. S here is S0 here. So that's why we have this one. 
The next module is, is this, the add one, this one. So again, x1, we have x1, we have y1, we have c1 to represent this, c1. We have c2, c2, s1, s1. The third one, add two, x2, y2, c2, c3, s2. And the last one here, x3, y3, c3, co, co, and s3. And now we have the 4-bit adder, right? As simple as that. So if you have more or uh, bigger adder, so you just have more. Right? For example, 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit, depend on the uh, design requirement. Okay, so that is uh, for adder, very easy. But any question before we proceed to the next one? Okay, so if no question, we go to the next one. Now we have looked at adder again uh, already. We have looked at adder already. So uh, now how if we want to do subtract? Yeah, we want to, to subtract a number. Yeah, A minus B. Right, B minus A or whatever. How to do that in the, uh, in, in hardware? All right. Now, if you look at the uh, subtract, you will uh, find that this is not easy to derive the, the truth table because it involves borrow in, in subtraction, right? So, it is not easy to derive the truth table for that. But we can actually uh, make use of the adder that we have to do to do uh, to do subtraction. For example, uh, if we want to do this a subtraction, for example. A minus B, right? Actually, what we can do is we can use adder and plus to the negative number. This is this should be equal, right? Or should be the same thing. Right. So here we can see that we can still use the the adder here to do subtraction. Now the problem is that how to represent a negative number in binary system. How to do that? That is why we have a sign number representation in binary system or in digital. So in decimal, we have, yes, we have number positive and negative number. Uh, for positive number, we have sign uh, plus. For negative number, we have minus symbol or sign right to the left mod uh, to the left of the most significant bit means that something like this yeah minus b so this is the the sign but how we represent the number in uh, in uh, binary can we write like this for example minus 2 Oops, sorry. Can we write like this? Minus 2 in binary. 
now how you want to represent this in hardware minus so there's is, there's is no way right there's no way so in binary system a sign number is uh, represented using the the msb of the of the uh, of the number right for example if we have a 4 bit system a 4 bit system like this uh, 1010 all right so here the msb is used to represent the sign of the uh, binary number so normally zero will represent a positive value one negative value all right so we use number as well to represent a sign in in digital system all right so we have the first uh, representation here we call it sign and magnitude representation where the first the msb here is called the, the sign the sign bit and uh, after that is the magnitude of the uh, this is unsigned number yeah the positive one sign number here yeah this is the the first one will be the the sign and the rest will be the magnitude so for example again if you look at, at this example this is equivalent to minus two in decimal right because we have sine equal to negative yeah one means negative and the magnitude here is zero one zero right now the problem is that let's say for example if i want to do something like like this now i want to do uh for example i have a plus minus b right i want to do this And let's say, for example, A is 5. 5. And our system is 4-bit. Let's, for example, let's make it uh, small so that uh, easier to, to do calculation. 4-bit number. So 5 in uh, binary is 0, 1, 0, 1. Right? And we plus... Yeah, this is positive 5. And we plus minus 2, for example, in this case. Yeah, this one. So minus 2 is 1, 0, 1, 0. So the result should be positive 3, right? Now we add. We have 1, 1, 1. 1 take okay, correct so this indicate minus negative which is wrong already and look at the magnitude this is 7 and this is wrong this is wrong so we have problem already meaning that this number yes this system or uh, the representation like this is not very useful in digital system all right so we have another one yeah uh, the scientists introduced the next 
negative representation number, which is called the first complement number. All right. So what is first complement number? So this is the, the, the definition by the complement uh, to find a first complement number is equal to this. Yeah. So for example, if we have if we have a 4-bit system, same thing, 4-bit. And uh, we want to, to uh, find a, a complement number. Complement, first complement. First complement number of minus two or number two right so the uh, the equation is k equal to two power of n minus one minus p and n is the size of the digital system in our case is four bit so we have two power of four minus 1 and p is the number that we want to uh, to convert to first complement which is here is 2 all right so this is 15 right 2 power of 4 is 16 minus 1, minus 2, we have 13, right, 13. So you can see that, easy, easy, yeah? So you can see that if a 4-bit number, the maximum value is 1, 1, 1, right, in unsigned, 1, 1, 1, 1, which is equal to 15. Okay, so the complement means that if we have number 2, okay, how much left to get 15? So it is actually equal to 15 minus 2, 13, right? That is why we call complement, yeah? How many to complete? 13. right then let's go back so th 13 so 13 in uh, in uh, binary is what you can use calculator is one one zero one correct Use calculator if you don't know how to how to convert. Yeah, you should know how already. Yeah, before you take this course, how to convert this to a binary system. Thirteen in binary is one one zero one. Yeah, in unsigned value is one one zero one. And if you look at this, right? If you have number two in binary, see. When you uh, invert each bit of this one, you can actually get, yeah, from zero, you get one. From zero here, you get one. From one here, you get zero. From zero here, you get one. So you get this one. That is why before this, when you learn digital electronic, when you want to, to get first complement number, what you do is that you invert each bit, right? For example, number 3, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay? If, if your teacher want you to convert to the first complement number, you can easily 
change this or invert each bit where you have 1 1 0 0 here okay which is actually number 12 in binary same thing if you use the formula here you can have 12 because if you change this to 3 you have 16 minus 1 15 minus 3 you have 12 same thing right so that is how we uh, we we convert the number to the first complement representation but that is not the important one the important one is uh, what is the application of the first complement number why we need to have this so look at this let's again we want to this is 1 1 16 1 1 0 1 right 13 now again remember what we want to do is we want to do this 5 plus minus 2 okay so we have 5 0 1 0 1 plus minus 2 is we use first complement representation to represent minus 2 and this you can see that this is sine bit minus represent minus we have 1101 1, and try to add this so we have 1 plus 1 0 and we have carry 1 we have 1 here 1 plus 1 we have 0 we have 1 carry here 1 plus 1 we have 0 and we have carry here this is carry and we if we had take this carry plus to this we can have one one zero zero and this is number number three and look at this five plus minus two should be equal to number three and this is number three right so the conclusion is that we can actually use first complement number or a complement number to represent a negative number which is far more useful as compared to the uh, this one the sine and magnitude representation where it cannot be be used at all in uh, arithmetic all right in calculation but for the first complement representation we can do this let's look at another example for example we want to have 6 minus 3 or 6 minus the uh, 6 minus 1 which is actually equal to 6 plus minus 1 which is 5 right now how the hardware do this yeah remember we want to use hardware to perform calculation and a computer is a hardware and this is how the computer perform calculation right so number 6 in 4 bit is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Right again, if you don't know how to convert this to binary, use your calculator. Minus 1. Yes, again, we plus, we add minus 1 in first complement. How to get it? Yeah, you can have 1 invert you have one 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 zero so this is the number and the one that we want to use is this one 
1110 and yes of course we add because we remember we have the adder circuit right so this is 0 plus 0 we have 0 1 plus 1 we have 0 and again we have 1 carry 1 plus 1 plus 1 we have 1 and 1 carry 1 plus 1 we have 0 and we have 1 carry and this carry we add to the result and we get 1 0 1 0 and see this is number 5 in decimal and look at this right so the conclusion is that Why must we have this? Yeah, the one uh, after right? then you put it back here. Yeah. Here, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because if we don't have that, the result is this. And this is number number four. Is it correct? No. Yes, now I understand. Uh, so if you have carry, you need to add. If you don't have carry, then no need to add. That's it. I, I will give you another example later on. But if you do or if you use first complement to be your uh, or to perform the, the subtraction, if you have the carry, you need to add to the result and you will get the, the correct number. Always like this. Always like this. Okay. All right. Now, let's go further a little bit further here now we have another one the second complement representation All right remember you have another uh, complement number we call it second complement so the second complement is this uh, define by this k equal to 2 power of n minus p so for example again if we want to have second complement of number 2 what we need to do is k and our system is 4 bit 2 power of 4 minus 2 we have 14 right and this 14 is 1110 in binary yeah and let's look at this if we have number 2 in binary is 0010 zero, zero, zero. And let's do the, or let's uh, derive the first complement for this number. So we have 1, 1, 0, 1. And if you, if you plus 1, because look at the equation, we remove, yeah, the first equation is, uh, the first complement equation is k equal to 2n minus 1 minus p, right? We remove this term out to get second complement so in this case if you plus one back you will have you can see that is why your second complement is actually your first complement plus plus one you get this value and this is very important where well, you can see after this that second complement is the most complement uh, uh, important complement number in computer system in digital world right so uh, this is uh, the 
representation that look at at this so another example more example from the first complement addition and subtraction yeah we can see that if we add number in uh, second first complement and remember first complement we only use for to represent the negative number yeah if positive we use this the normal uh, number representation so for example number five is one zero one number two positive two is one zero so if we add yeah no problem here see another example minus five if we complement minus five remember we need to complement so we have five zero one zero one and if you complement you have one zero one zero yeah you have one zero one zero plus two plus two and you plus c one one zero zero you have one one zero zero and if you complement this back this is actually three right so that's why this is actually minus minus three and in decimal minus five plus two of course minus three and if you do in binary you have yes minus three so this is correct so that is why we can use first complement to represent negative number and this is another example okay just like uh, our previous example minus 5 uh, positive 5 minus 2 so we have positive 3 and again when we add we have carry and if we have carry we need to add here we don't have any carry that's what that is why we don't need to to add but if we have carry we need to add one then we get the result here also the same we have carry and this is eight um, minus seven sorry minus five minus two we have minus seven is it correct minus seven yes if you complement this value one zero zero one uh, zero you complement you have seven and this is minus seven still correct all right but the problem with first complement number is that this this is the problem because you need to add two times right first yeah just like uh Ravin Ram asked right why we need to add another one yes we need to add the reason is that we need to get the correct number and if we have if we do that yeah when we have the carry if we do that every time we will get the correct result yeah uh, regardless of the number any number that we have if we have carry we add to the result and we get the correct result but the problem is that we need to add two times means that you have to have how many adder we you need to have another extra adder here right before you get the the correct result now let's look at the second complement addition or subtraction. Look at this. When we add the number, positive number, using the second complement number, and this is these two are positive number, so it should be no problem. Five plus two, we have seven, no problem. But this one, look at this. Minus five in two's complement number is this. Yeah. So you have minus five in decimal is in binary is this right you complement to get the first complement and you plus one so you have one zero one one is minus five in second complement positive 2 so again this is positive 2 and you add so you add here you can see that 
you have 1101. And this 1101 is actually um, minus 3, right? 1101. And you complement this. You plus 1, you have this is actually minus 3 in decimal. Okay, so far so good. Means that it can be used also for adding and subtraction, a sign number. Now, what about this? Before this, you can see that when we do plus 5 minus 2, we need to add this to get the correct value. But here, plus 5, this is plus 5. This is minus 2, and we add, and we have, of course, we have the carry, but this is 0011, which is number 3, where we don't have to add 1 to the result to get the correct one like this. 3, we need to add to get plus 3, but here, we just ignore the, the carry one, because this is bit number 5, yeah? Bit number 5 already, so we can ignore actually. Your system is 4 bit. So 0, 0, 0011, one, and the sign is positive, and this is number 3. 3, exactly. No need to, to add. Look at this again. 1011 one, one is minus 5. 1110 one, one, is minus 2. You add, and this is minus 7. Yeah, look at this. Second complement, uh, minus 7 is 1001. 1001. One. This is minus 7. And this is the extra one. You ignore. 1001. One. You have minus 7. And this is minus 7. Again, you don't need to, to add. Here, you need to add. So in terms of circuit, this one is less complicated as compared to to this here you need another extra adder here to get the result here you don't have All right so the conclusion is that the second complement is or will be the number that is used in computer system to represent a negative number all right, so your computer now, your mobile phone now is using second complement representation to represent a negative number. And this is used to do subtraction, right? Now, how we do the, the subtraction in hardware, All right? How to do subtraction in hardware. So for example, here, this is uh, by hand calculation, plus 5, plus 2, uh, sorry, plus 5, mi minus plus 2. So we have... plus 5 minus plus 2 so this is actually 5 minus 2 and this is actually 5 plus minus 2 right so this is what the hardware do actually we will use the adder in this case and this is number 5 0 1 0 1 and this is minus 2 1 1 1 zero in second complement number this is why we have this zero one zero one five zero zero one zero and actually this is plus and not minus yeah plus and if we add again we have number three and this one is ignore we get the result same as this one 
we have this, we have minus 7, we get the result. Right? This is another example. You can look at it. Now, how to implement in hardware? Right? So, this is how we implement this uh, adder subtractor in hardware. Okay. So, if you look at uh, the the adder this is the adder yeah the n bit adder so in our case in the previous example we have four bit adder so this for example this is a four bit adder so this will be uh, x3 yeah to x0 so this is y3 to y0 but let's uh, look at the how we implement this in hardware okay so let's uh, look at this. If we have our adder, just now we have the adder, the full adder, the four bit full adder. Right. Now, for example, we want to implement, uh, yes, 5 plus minus 2. Yeah, or 5 minus 2. How do we do that in hardware? So first is, of course, number 5. So we can have number 5 here. 0, 1, 0, 1, right, very easy, so our x will be, x is equal to 5, now our y should be equal to minus 2 in our case, now how we get minus 2 in hardware, so we need to, first, what we need to do? First, we need to do the complement to get the first complement number, right? So how to complement? Complement the input here. Very easy. We use NOT gate. We use NOT gate. So we can have the NOT gate to complement Y so that we get the minus 2, right? So uh, if number 2 come, uh, let's have all the complement. So number 2, will come here, 0, 0, 1, 0 in binary, right? And we complement, so the output from this gate, yeah, from this not gate will be, will be, one, one, zero, one here, correct? But this is still first complement. How to get second complement? So to get the second complement, remember, the first complement must add to, to 1. And you get the second complement number, right? So how to add 1? Not difficult. Remember, in our adder, we have this input. So if you have this equal to 1, means that, this value will add 
to this one. All right, means that you will have one 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 uh, one one zero one plus another one here one one zero one plus one you can have one 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 zero and this is minus two in second complement All right so if you have this one and of course you will have this 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 and this now what about the output so the output will be yeah it will plus because this is adder right adder so you can see that you can have uh, x here equal to 0 1 0 1 which is number 5 and y is equal to uh, y equal to yeah because you complement here already you have one one zero one yeah here one one zero one and you have one here so you plus one yeah means that the carry actually is here this is the c in and you add everything so one plus one plus one is one you have this one one plus zero plus zero you have one one plus one you have zero one one plus zero plus one you have zero one and this is the carry you ignore and you have the result equal to number three right so that is we that is how we design the subtractor in in uh, digital system all right so to design a subtractor in digital system is easy what you need to do is you need to have something like this this is adder adder and the input here one input y here must be inverted and to get the first complement number and the c in here you need to set to logic one always one and this will be the subtractor not the adder anymore all right but remember we still use an adder all right because we have this we still use the adder but we only change the bit here yeah the number how we represent the number and with that we can make a conclusion that we can use an adder to create a subtractor and this is very good where we can use the same adder you need eh, in order to to make the subtractor all right so in our digital system later on one circuit should be able to perform add and sub all right and this is this should should save the cost save the cost very very much all right before we go to this an equation how we create the adder and the subtractor in the digital system okay good now let's 
look at this. This is called adder subtractor unit. Right, means that this circuit can do add and sub in the same circuit, depend on the setting. All right, so before this, this circuit is fake. You need, uh, it is used to subtract only, All right? Because, yeah, we have this already, and this will always invert the bit. And this one is the adder only, can do add only. This one can do sub only. Now, how to combine such that? Because you remember, we have the adder here already. Why don't we just combine the circuit that uh, such that the circuit can do add and sub using the same one, right? In the same circuit. So this is the circuit. When you look at this, you can see that we have make a little bit modification of the input here for the Y, right? Instead of using the NOT gate here, we use the XOR gate instead. This is XOR. Why we use XOR here? Because we want to have the circuit that can perform add and subtract, uh, add and subtract in the same circuit, right? So in this case, when you use X or here, if I, if I can take one bit from here, right, we can see something like this, where we have the input, the XOR gate and this is Y for example let me take it as Y0 and we have here is X0 and we have this uh, as C1 and this is C0 and you can see that this C0 is actually connected to the input of this one of the input of the XOR and let's look at the uh, the uh, truth table for for the XOR gate so let's say for example you have Y0 you have C0 0 0 0 0 1 one zero one one all right so let's uh, name this output as a zero so a zero will be zero one one zero right so this is the behavior of the xo and let's say for example if C0 equal to 0 means that in this uh, this case and this case if C0 equal to 0 means that here equal to 0 And here equal to 0. What is the output here? A0. A0 should be equal to. Yeah, if y equal to, uh, for example, if y equal to. y equal to 0. So a is equal to. a0 is equal to 0. So this is the same 0, 0. And what if y equal to 1? Y0 equal to 1. A0 equal to 1. Right? If 1, A0 also equal to 1. 
1 equal to 1. If 0, equal to 0 as well. If C 0, equal to 0, yeah? Means that we can set C 0 to 0 to perform add. Right? Because if we want this circuit to do add, we just set this to be zero. Let's look at let's look at the example if we use this one. So we can see that let's say for example x equal to one, x zero equal to one, yeah, c equal to zero. What happened is that the output here s will be equal to x one plus y 1 1 plus 1 so you have equal to s should be equal to 0 and c1 should be equal to 1 so this is add all right because the output uh, the input for the adder here is actually the same as this one and remember if we have this 0 means that this is add but if we change this to number 1 number one, what happened is that C is, oh. what happened is that if y0 equal to 0, The output at a0 should be is equal to, to 1. So this is complement. 0, you have 1. And of course, this is 1. So this is second complement number. 0, you complement and you add 1 here. This is second complement. If co equal to 1. Let's look at the second one. If co equal to 1 and y now equal to 1. Yeah, y0 equal to 1. And A0 should be equal to 0. And again, this is complement. 1, you have 0. And this is still 1. And this is still complement number. So, if C0 equal to 1, you actually perform sub. Subtract operation. Same as this one. All right. When you have many more bits, when you set this to zero, what happens is that the input here will be, uh, sorry, the output here will be the same as this one. All right. And this is, if it is the same, and this is zero, so this circuit will be the adder. But if you change this to 1, right, 1, you can see that the output here is the complement of this value, which is the, the first complement number. And again, because this is an adder, you need to add to this, and this is 1. This plus 1 is the first complement plus 1. This is the second complement. And the second complement number, if you add to this, this means that this is the subtractor. This sub with this if this equal to zero. Right? So that is the, the circuit. Hence we get the subtractor circuit. And with that. We can have the adder and subtractor in one unit or one circuit, like this. Okay? Any question? Before we go to the next, and before that, we need to have a, a break.